When you are elected governor, what are the three actions you will take to restore public confidence and get Illinois back on track? Hello, my name is Dan Proft. I'm a conservative Republican candidate for governor, and it's good to be with you. A um, couple things I'll do first. Uh, the first thing I'll do to restore public confidence is I'm going to rename Illinois Indiana in the hopes that businesses are confused and they actually come here instead. Uh, and the, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to be a governor who doesn't commit felonies. So that that will also help restore confidence in uh, state government. Uh, the, the three things that you have to do uh, to bring Illinois back from the precipice of economic collapse. Uh, one, uh, you cut taxes on productive activities like work and investment. Um, congratulating ourselves for opposing the Madigan, Quinn, Hines tax increase proposals, big deal. With, without those tax increases, we have the 48th ranked economy in the country in the last 10 years. Actually, in the last 25 years since Mike Madigan has been speaker. Only Michigan and Ohio have created less jobs. Without those tax increases, we have lost 175,000 private sector jobs in this state in calendar year 2008 alone. Public sector headcount, status quo. Without those tax increases, we have the highest unemployment rate we've had in 25 years in Illinois. It is not enough to quibble about how you finance the status quo. You have to cut the state income tax, which I've proposed doing, in half. Cut the corporate income tax, which I've proposed doing, in half. And eliminate the state estate tax. You know why grandma and grandpa don't retire in Illinois? It's not just because of the weather. It is because they want to leave the wealth they've accumulated over a lifetime to their loved ones, not to Mike Madigan. We have to make Illinois a low-tax state to compete. On the spending side, priority number two, statutory spending caps. Get off this hamster wheel of manufactured annual budget crises, relying on politicians' promises to bring spending in line with revenue. Um, if you want to stop the feeding at the trough, remove the trough. That's how you get it done. Um, you uh, free state spending at its current level. You only allow for year-over-year -year growth equal to population plus inflation. Because the reality is we have a spending problem in Illinois. And uh, these guys should know it. They've been down there for 15 years. Uh, in the last 10 years alone, state spending has outpaced uh, population growth adjusted for inflation by a factor of eight. Eight times. And what do we have to show for it? Do we have better school systems, better transportation, a more robust economy? We have none of those things because all of that money has gone to finance secure jobs and guaranteed pensions for the political patronage armies who in turn provide the support that sustain and advance the careers of the nine Chicago Democrats in charge of the system. That is the scam. That is the hustle. The folks in Springfield are not incompetent. They are lying to you. That's what must be understood if you want to get at the core of these problems. The third thing, K through 12 education. We know that if you get K through 12 right, you, uh, a lot of your other problems become much easier to solve because you have set children on a path to be successful independent adults. We do not get K through 12 right in this state because we fund centralized bureaucracies. We don't invest in families and students. So I have proposed doing uh, uh, is changing how the money flows and changing who gets to make spending decisions, particularly in our failing school districts. So any child who qualifies for the free or reduced federal school lunch program under a profit administration, that family will get a check from state government uh, equal to the amount the state contributes to that child's education every year. And they will be able to send their kid to any school they want, private, public, parochial, charter, whatever. We have a system very similar to this in place right now. You may have heard of it. It is called college, where the money follows the students. And we have the best university system in the world. And we have some of the worst K through 12 systems in the country. So tax cuts, spending caps, get K through 12 right by breaking the back of the teachers unions and investing in families, not centralized bureaucracies. Thank you.